In this video, we will see how to take UCS Backup and restore it via UCS Manager GUI. In the UCS Manager, Backup will be under the Admin tab and then click on All Node and then we click on General tab and then click on the Backup Configuration and in the Backup Configuration dialog box, click the Create Backup Operation. We can see there are four types of backup configuration files that we can create. Full state, all configuration, system configuration, logical configuration. Let's look at the creation of full state backup and all configuration backup. Full state backup will be a binary file that can be used to restore the system during disaster recovery. We cannot use this file for import operations. We can only perform a restore through the initial system setup. In the create operation dialog box, we need to complete the following field. In the admin state field, we can either select enable or disable. When we select enable, the UCS manager will run the backup operation as soon as we click OK. When we select disable, the Cisco UCS manager does not run the backup operation. We must manually run the backup from the backup configuration dialog box. In type, we select full state, location of the backup file. It can be remote file system or local file system. In the remote file system where the backup file will be saved to the remote server, it allows us to specify the protocol, host name, file name, username, and password for the remote system. In local file system, file will be saved locally. Here, we will choose local file system and provide the file name ending with .bin. and select OK. We can see now the backup file are getting generated. It will take few minutes. Now backup file successfully downloaded to the default download folder and we will click OK in the confirmation dialog box. Here we can see the full state backup file has generated. We can scroll down to check on the FSM detail and it shows it has successfully completed. We will click OK to close the backup configuration dialog box. We can also verify that full state backup file has been saved in the download folder. Similarly, we will create the all configuration backup. So click on backup configuration. In the backup configuration dialog box, we will click on create backup operation. In the create backup operation dialog box, we will select admin state as enabled, type all configuration. All configuration consists of all system and logical configuration settings in a single XML file. And system configuration will be an XML file of all system configuration settings, which will have username, roles, and locale. And the logical configuration will be XML file of all logical configuration settings, which will have service profile related, VLAN, vSAN, connectivity, pools, and policies. We can only use this XML file to import the configuration setting to the original Fabric Interconnect or to a different Fabric Interconnect. In the preserve identities, if this checkbox is checked, the backup file preserves all the identities derived from pools, including the MAC address, WWPN, WWNN, and UUIDs. In the location of the backup file, we will select local file system here, and in the file name, we will provide the file name ending with .xml. We will select OK. We can see the backup file successfully downloaded to the default download folder and we will click OK in the confirmation dialog box. We can see here all config backup file has successfully generated. We can also verify in the FSM detail that it has successfully completed. 
at the bottom of the browser we can see that the file has generated it's giving the warning but we can keep it as we know this is the backup of the ucs domain we will click ok to close the backup configuration dialog box and we can also verify in the download folder all config backup file has been saved successfully We will see how to import all configuration backup file that we just created. Before we start restoring all the config backup, we will modify a few settings like we delete one of the VLAN. We will go back to the admin tab and in the admin tab we will select all node and in the all node we will click on general tab and in the general tab we will click import configuration in the import configuration dialog box we will click on create import operation in the create import operation dialog box we will select admin state as enabled in the action field it can be either merge or replace when we select merge, the configuration information is merged with the existing information. If there are conflict, the system replaces the information on the current system with the information in the import configuration file. When we select replace, the system takes each object in the import configuration file and overrides the corresponding object in the current configuration. So we will select here merge. And in the location of the import file, we will select the local file system where we have saved the all config backup file. In the download folder, we will select all config backup and click on OK. In the confirmation dialog box, we will click OK. And we can see that the restoration of the configuration settings is in process. And now we can see that the import operation has successfully completed. And we can also verify in the FSM detail that it has successfully completed. We will click OK to close the import configuration dialog box. And we will verify that the VLAN that we have deleted has been restored. Hope this video has been informative for you and like to thank you for watching.